guys, we rehearsed this. It's quack. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farm here, and I'm in the Void World here at the Mob Farms to talk a little bit about Mob Farms, but more importantly, Mob Spawners. Now, right behind me, this, uh, this farm here is one that I really like. It's a very simple design using cursed earth and uh, fans to blow the, the mobs that spawn in them into the center. And down here at the bottom, the, the mobs get ground up using the Mine Factory Reloaded Grinders, although you could use a, a multitude of different ones. Uh, I've built this multiple times. I've demonstrated in both my Mod Sauce as well as my uh, Feed the Beast Infinity servers. Plus, uh, there's the tutorial I gave for this one specifically. Uh, but uh, just a quick uh, review. The items get ground up by the, the grinders, sent off. I'm using ender chest to send them, but really doesn't matter how. Uh, over here, because I use those grinders, I'm getting mob essence. I can use those mob essences to generate these guys. I've got a, a bank of 3x3 three three spawners, auto spawners. Uh, you take a safari net. You capture the, the mob you want, you toss that into the auto spawner, supply it with energy and with mob essence, and you can generate uh, whatever mobs you want. I'm using a, an autonomous activator here with a weapon inside to just chop them all up. Uh, these weapons will lose durability, so it's uh, nice to have something that, that won't, uh, or, you know, you just put a whole bunch of weapons in there. Uh, the vacuum hopper grabs all the items that, uh, that drop from these mobs, including the experience, and you can store those. Uh, here I have uh, an ender chest that all these items are moving to, backed up with a whole bunch of barrels, and you could pipe it into an ME system or however you want, but this allows for a multitude of items to get stored. I have, all these are being connected using the Ender IO pipes. Uh, they all have a priority of zero, so they all go into the Jabba barrels first. Then, if there's no room for that, I have a negative one on this diamond chest, and then over here, a negative five. So it goes into the barrels if it can, then into this chest, and then it just gets deleted. And if we take a quick look at the chest, there's gobs, gobs, gobs of these witch's hands, so we'll get rid of all those. But uh, it allows you to take a look and say, oh, hey, the bones have uh, filled up. Uh, but, you know, this is a great way of getting overflow bits. In any case, uh, uh, lots and lots of stuff. See, sure enough, the, the bones have filled up. Two of the things that I find very interesting, these mob souls here, and these are part of Draconic Evolution, plus Practicalities, which gives us these uh, soul aspects based off of different mobs. In this case, this is a witch one. And we're going to talk a little bit about using these to upgrade mob spawners to be better. So let's come wandering over here. Here we have a bunch of zombie mob spawners, and they're all just the, the, the plain old vanilla mob spawners. One of the things you can do to upgrade these is just slap a single piece of cursed earth underneath and it kind of kickstarts the mob spawner so that you don't have to be within 16 blocks. It, As long as the chunk is loaded, it will go ahead and spawn uh, mobs. Uh, I've got that going on my uh, Infinity Let's Play server with a blaze spawner and it's just producing blazes by the ton. Uh, but for right now, we'll just ignore them. Go away. Don't need that to spawn. Uh, looking at these four here, there are ways to upgrade these using practicalities. Uh, now I've talked to you about those soul aspects. Uh, each of the various uh, mobs have a soul aspect, and then as you kill them, you will occasionally pick them up. Uh, you can combine them into a soul, and then using those soul and other, you can create these alterations for the spawner. And I'm going to concentrate mainly on the speed alteration and the horde alteration. The, the third one is the range, which allows the spawner to produce uh, objects, or objects, mobs, uh, from a farther distance 
but for right now we don't really care. Here we have our vanilla spawner and here we have one that has been upgraded with a horde and this guy over here we've just up upgraded him with a speed and this guy we're gonna upgrade with both. Now I went ahead and took a uh, six minute uh, video of these guys spawning and went ahead and counted the, the differences in how they spawn and it was very interesting. Uh, this guy in the six minute period spawned 23 and then this guy uh, with the horde upgrade which I thought would have produced a huge amount was about double. It produced 45 adding the speed produced about three times it produced 71 and then having them both produced about four times the amount uh, at 87 which was very very interesting so if you've got enough for just one go ahead and slap on the speed and you'll get the the biggest bang for the buck if you've got enough for two go ahead and put them both on you'll get a, a, a good update the other mod that we'll talk about here is draconic evolution and if we pull open this tablet and take a look at the index we need to scroll down really fast to the here it is the stabilized mob spawner and you can just pause it right here and take a quick read uh, one of the things that you want with this is any spawner any that you can find you can go ahead and slap on it a, a draconic core and that will give you a stabilized spawner. So let's zip over here. And here I have four very vanilla uh, mob spawners. And let's go ahead and drop some of these guys down here. All right, so uh, what you can do is you can take a draconic core, come to any mob spawner and just slap that on it. And it converts them all into the stabilized mob spawners. Now you'll want to use one of the draconic tools. Uh, I've got the, the, the pickaxe here, that's the wyvern. And we'll just go ahead and chop these down real quick. I only need three. And let's drop down below and do some something interesting here. Drop, drop, drop. These guys need to be upgraded with a soul now as you use a draconic weapon, whether it's the, the sword of the, the, the wyvern or the dragon, you will occasionally get these souls. And I pointed over here to, to the, the, the wither and the witch soul. Let's go ahead and grab the wither souls. And let's go ahead and slap that there and there and here. Now these guys will go ahead and just spawn as long as you're within 16, very similar to, to those, but there's things you can do to upgrade these. Now uh, if you have a wyvern core you can go ahead and slap that on it and you can see it, it changed the, the, the color of the of the spawner. This will produce more or you can come over and if you've got uh, the awakened ingots, you can go ahead and slap on a wyvern core and upgrade it with an awakened core. And now that's a tier three. You can see that in the corner, uh, the heads up says this is a tier three, that's a tier two, and that's a tier one. Uh, additional things you can do, you could slap on there a notch apple so that it ignores any requirements like um, light levels or anything like that or you could slap on a nether star which doesn't even require you to be within 16 blocks of it anymore uh, I'm gonna ignore those for right now I went ahead and and did another six minute uh, pause to to see how these three uh, went ahead and produced and it was as expected this one produced the less, the least amount. This one produced more with the, the tier two, and the tier three produced the most. Uh, looking at the numbers in the six-minute period, that one produced 13. Now that's that's half as many as the the zombies produced, but the withers seem to produce much much smaller numbers. Uh, the the core two produced 52 withers, which is about four times as many. So well worth the upgrade. 
but upgrading it as far as the tier three produced 180 withers, or 14 times almost as many as the, the, the base tier one did. So if you have uh, got the bits, getting the awakened core to add it on there really makes a big difference. Uh, we would, I assume we would see the exact same things regardless of which mobs you toss in, but uh, I'm using withers. I think they have a much lower spawn rate because most of the time they just spawn one, occasionally two at a time. When fully upgraded, I, I got a couple fours. With the, the, the zombies back there, Occasionally I would get threes and fours, but most of the time they're in the one and the twos. So just differences here. So if you have some spawners and you want to harvest the, the, the mob resources from them, you've got uh, several methods. You could sit there and just go vanilla, not vanilla, you can go very simple with the cursed earth and just let them auto generate, or you can specifically call what you want by using the auto spawner and safari nets, or you can upgrade spawners that you see using practicality, or you can upgrade the spawners you find with a soul using draconic evolution. As it looks to me, that one is the, the, the most overpowered of them all, and uh, if, if you want something that's a hard to get mob, this is the way to do it. It takes a bit to, to get the uh, awakened cores, but well worth the upgrade on that. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, talking a little bit about mob spawners and the goodness that comes with them. Thanks for watching. Bye.